Hello everyone, my name is Deepika and in this video, I am going to show you how to use SIPPUT API to post messages to JMSQ. Last phase of MDM project is to publish the golden record as a message to the downstream system. The easiest way to do is to create the message in form of XML and push it to the JMSQ and then queue, queue will be read by the downstream system and which will consume the message. These queues are created under the application server on which your MDM is deployed and this queue will act as an output queue for the MDM application and which will act as an input queue for the downstream system application. You can create any queue and you can use that queue as an output queue other than Siberian SIF JMS queue because as you know this this is the queue is which is created when we install the MDM and it is used internally by MDM. So you, you cannot use this as an output queue. MDM send messages to the JMS in two different ways. First is a very common way which every most of the customer uses it. So it is when you configure the hub console for a particular event like event means creating creation of the record updation merge and merge for specific event you can configure the messages to be sent to the downstream system and when you configure it MDM will read and corresponding to the trigger MDM will send the message to the JMS queue and you can view the status of the message under the C repos MQ data change table in ORS. And the another option is you can use the SIF API put call to send the message in asynchronous operate mode. Asynchronous mode, as we know, will not process the message immediately. It will the message will get processed after some time. In terms of synchronous call, the, you will get the immediate response. But in terms of asynchronous, you will only get the response that message will get processed asynchronously. So it will take some time for the message to actually get processed. So if you if you run the request in asynchronous mode and during such calls, if you specify JMS reply to parameter, so there is a parameter under asynchronous tab. If you specify the output queue, your response will get published to that queue. So that queue can be read by your downstream system to get the message. So response will be same as you will normally get when you run the SIF in synchronous mode. For the option A, configuring the hub, configuring the message trigger using hub console, there are a couple of videos available and there are contents available in the product gu MDM guide you can refer to that some of the links I have given and you can refer to that and to, to, to find out how to configure the message queues for the option 2 which is how to use a SIF put API to post messages I'm going to demonstrate in this video so I will use the SOAP UI to demonstrate to make a put call uh, in asynchronous mode. So let's start the demo. So I'm using JBoss as application server in this demo and I have already created an output queue name as a new queue. So you can see there are two queues in the JBoss application. So this is a queue as I mentioned which will be internally used by MDM and it gets created when you install MDM. So this is the queue which I have generated and I'm going to use it as an output queue. Currently you are seeing there are one message already in the queue. Just to tell you how you can create a new queue in the JBoss, you open a standalone full XML file if you are using a standalone server and search for the JMS destination and add a new queue entry. So this is a and you restart the server this is the way you can create a new queue and I'm going to use this queue as an output queue for my MDM application. 
for the demo purpose i'm going to use the soap ui and i'm going to fire a put request as you can see i am using the asynchronous option so this is the key for publishing the message to the queue so you will have the asynchronous option tab you mark it as a true yes i want to send the request as asynchronous rather than synchronous and this is the tab where you will specify the name of the queue to which you want to publish the message and correlation id as you know it is nothing but the message id that you give to identify among the stack of the messages under the queue so i ha i'm taking a one uh, ba dummy base object and i'm just updating some of the values in the in the base table so i'm i'm, I'm just making it as a new record and i have fired the request as you can see the message which it gets published is this message this request will be processed asynchronously so it means it will get processed after some time by background so you can continue doing the process so as we have sent the asynchronous request rather than synchronous you will not get immediate the response like the row id object which is created, which is insert or the create option, uh, operation, etc. So you can go to your uh, database and you can fire a query on the base object order by create date uh, to identify if any new record is created or updated. So I can see the one record came which I have fired the request as a as a first name and the last name. So it means request got processed, the record is created. And where the reply will go? Now we will check the output queue which we have mentioned while making a request which was the queue new queue. So I will go to this queue and I can see the actual the number of message increased to 2. Earlier it was 1 and 2. So it means the request is processed and the reply has gone to this queue. In order to reach the message you need can create a custom Java application to read the message or to read the content of the queue and which your outstanding system can also do that and process the message so this is the way you can use the put sif api to publish the message to the jms queue using the asynchronous option this is all for now in this video uh, we would love to hear from you if you have any feedback please share to us at sub, sub Please email to us at supportvideos at informatica.com or you can tweet us at twitter.com slash infasupport. Thank you very much for watching.